young man and that woman who can look at you and draw you, can draw bridges and design cars, cannot do engineering, who are engineers? Some of you may have heard me talk about my favorite group of, pe group of people in high school, those who are doing visual arts, visual arts students. Why am I talking about them all the time? There's a young man called Kojo Mensa. He had a dream. And in the dream, he was speaking with God. Very interesting encounter with God. God called, uh, called Kojo Mensa and said, Kojo, and he said, God, and he said, you know, you're going to be the world's best engineer. And he said, God, you don't know me. And God said, I know, I created you. Why do you say I don't know you? He said, God, I'm a young man growing up in Ghana. I'm in high school, and I'm doing visual arts, so I will never be an engineer. But God knew that Kojo Mensah was going to travel to America. And when he goes to America, he will be allowed to do engineering. What is stopping us? From allowing Kojo Mensah's dream to come true and become the world's best engineer, as God told him. So I'm excited that we are working with GTEC and selected universities to look at creating a pre-engineering program for those who did not do science in high school, especially those who did visual arts. You see, if that young man and that woman who can look at you and draw you, can draw bridges and design cars, cannot do engineering, who are engineers? When we ask those young men and women who can draw and innovate, and sometimes we push them into work, and in the process, they develop their unique talents and they can design. They can do a whole lot of things. But we say, uh-uh. Yes, you need them to know physics. You need them to know chemistry. You need them to know advanced mathematics. But why can't you create a pre-engineering program where they can prove to you that I can do the math and I can do chemistry and I can do mathematics, I can do physics? And if they can prove to you, what stops you from allowing them? What do you lose? Me, I don't understand. I really don't understand. I don't understand why we should put barriers in the way of talent and talented individuals. So Ghana is going to see a new dawn in that area to make sure we can put all our talent to use for the benefit of this country. Instead of saying no to them, say yes and motivate them. And I want that to be the work that we